It's not exactly like the King Street pilot project, but it has the same goal in mind to relieve some of the terrible traffic in the downtown core and to get commuters moving faster both in vehicles and on streetcars. Today, the city launched a new initiative here on Queen Street, but this one will target illegally parked vehicles. Frustration every driver in the city has experienced, likely more than once, trying to get around an illegally stopped vehicle with its flashers on during rush hour. The driver, nowhere to be found. Those people uh, inconvenience everybody else and they make it harder to get around the city. The mayor says he has a solution for a particularly vibrant stretch of Queen Street, active especially during peak rush hours, when traffic for both drivers and transit riders is a nightmare. We're going to stop making nice and, and uh, we're going to start uh, doing something that uh, represents an important uh, initiative. <laughs> Starting October 7th, for six weeks, illegally parked vehicles on Queen Street from Fallingbrook Road in the east to Roncesvalles in the west will be towed, relocated to nearby designated side streets instead of impound lots on the outskirts of the city. Move them to nearby streets. That's so nice. The traffic on Queen Street is terrible. Yeah. It's so bad. Yeah. Um, so anything to help would be good if you're illegally parked, I guess. I mean... You're asking for it. I think towing the cars is a good idea. Not taking them all far, far away is probably best. The initiative would theoretically solve a problem police say they've been dealing with for years. Not enough tow truck drivers to keep up with the number of vehicles parked illegally during rush hour. Staying nearby, they'll have more time to come back and clear the streets. The efficiency of towing a vehicle off the rush hour and taking it to a towing impound lot and then returning to take another vehicle simply takes a long time. It takes up to 90 minutes. Uh, in this city. Police have identified 56 locations in the downtown core where vehicles will be moved. It'll allow them the dedicated trucks that are going to be on this uh, Queen Street uh, to get back to doing the next car and the next car after that uh, much faster. The initiative has been tested in other neighborhoods in the city and city officials say Queen Street has been in desperate need of a fresh idea to resolve congestion issues. In 2018, 12,000 no stopping tickets were issued on the full length of Queen Street. Police towed and impounded 6,000 vehicles and say there's no doubt more vehicles would have been towed but weren't because of a lack of resources. And this initiative will cost the city only $80,000. So while there won't be a towing fee for drivers, there will still be a $150 ticket for no stopping. And uh, if you come out and find your vehicle is missing, you can call the police non-emergency line. They'll tell you exactly where your vehicle is located. Again, this initiative will last six weeks. And with, at the end, they'll have a lot more information and data streams available to tell us exactly how it worked.